all right so uh, you mean you might uh, i mean i'm sure all of you have seen this uh, in your uh, classes you know basic circuit theory classes uh, long uh, long while ago and uh, you know apart from uh, you know giving you two marks in an exam you might be wondering what is the you know what is the earthly use of i mean it sounds like a cool theorem but so what right why is this why is this useful in practice uh, uh you know uh, i will show you why it is useful in practice um with an example so let's say i take i don't know some example toy network so why why is reciprocity useful in practice okay so let me take some arbitrary network r1 r2 r3 r4 and uh, let's say there was v1 here uh, there was uh, a current source here called i1 another current source here called i2 a third current source here called i3 a fourth current source called i4 and uh, have v out all right how will we find v out what is the most straightforward thing to do what is the first thing that uh, uh, that strikes you when i ask you to find v out very good. so the first thing uh, you know that comes to our mind is to say superposition the straightforward approach is to basically say you superposition so and what does this entail you deenergize uh, all sources except one and you find the transfer function from from one source to the output and you do this for all the sources that are there right so how many uh, uh, times are you solving the network in this particular case you are solving the network equations how many times now 1 2 3 4 5 times okay and is therefore an inefficient of doing it. and why do i say it's an inefficient way of doing things because you i mean uh, think about it when you solve a network i mean you know when you say solve the network what what would you do how how do you plan on go uh, on uh, solving this pardon yeah i mean you know what is the mechanics of the process you write kcl kvl i mean you choose your you know favorite set of uh, you know uh, you know uh, you know if you like mesh analysis you do mesh analysis if you do like node analysis you do node analysis but finally you will end up doing the same thing over and over again five times with only a small change correct okay uh, uh the smart way of doing things is to use is to use reciprocity and the idea is the following uh well we know that the transfer function from v1 to v out
is the same if I instead injected uh, let's say a, let's say I injected a current source I here. What comment can you make about uh, and measured the uh, the current I1 here measured the voltage V1 here uh, the voltage sorry V1 must be in this orientation V2 here V3 V4 okay. So, if you use reciprocity what uh, you know uh, what do you think you can do? What conclusion can you draw regarding the transfer function from uh, V out by V1 in this network must be the same as Yes, people. V1 by V out or V out by V1 in the network above is the same as I1 by I in the network below. Okay. Likewise, V out by I1 in the network above is the same as V out by I1 is the same as V1 by I and so on. So, why is this a much smarter way of doing things? You solve the network only once, correct? And in one shot, you are able to get all the transfer functions that you are after. And therefore, uh, the uh, so this uh, reciprocity therefore enables computation of multiple transfer functions. in one shot without having to do the solution of nodal equations you know you know one by one by one by one okay and you might say oh well you know uh, this is such a simple network you know is it really such a big deal to solve the network five times why is the uh, there such a big fuss hmm? it turns out that in practice uh, you know it's not uncommon for uh, uh, circuit designers to be dealing with transistors with I mean networks with you know 100 nodes, 200 nodes where uh, you have one output and uh, why do you have multiple inputs? It turns out you know as uh, we discussed in the very first class, every electronic device uh, it turns out also adds noise. For instance, each of these resistors uh, will add noise uh, which is which can be modeled it turns out by you know either a voltage source in series or by a current source in parallel uh, with the resistor and uh, if you want to figure out how much noise there is at the output of a network, you need to find the transfer function from each of these sources to the to the output. Okay? So, uh, this uh, practical scenario where you need to compute several hundreds of transfer functions, right? in other words transfer functions from several hundreds of sources to uh, uh, a single output uh, which would be, which would need you know using a simple minded approach would need several hundred uh, evaluations of the same network where you are doing the same thing over and over again. If you use reciprocity it is simply just evaluating the network once and with this just one evaluation you are now in a position to tell uh, tell me what the transfer functions are from 
any source in the network to the out. Is this clear? Right. So uh, that is uh, uh, you know the one of the uh, nice things about reciprocity. Now you might argue, and uh, however there is one limitation, and what is that limitation? Pardon. What is the only? I mean, what is the limitation of? Uh, uh, I mean, this obviously sounds like a great idea, right? Except, well, except that uh, you know uh, it doesn't hold in networks that we are most interested in, namely. Well, I mean, you know, passive networks are great, but you know, most of the time we are dealing with with uh, active networks, uh, and the active networks have control sources. Correct. So. Oh, it's all great, but ah, you know, it doesn't work for the real network that uh, I'm interested, in, right? You understand? So it's like finding, uh, you know, uh, uh, someone gave you like, uh, you know, a terabyte uh, SSD drive, okay, uh, to fix on your phone, except you know, you find out that uh, the slot is of a different size, okay, and doesn't fit, huh? So all your plans of downloading, like you know, 400 movies, is uh, you know, uh, is now uh, 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 underwater. Hmm?